Right in the mail, MS sex games from Japan. Collecting with our fail, those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a package in the wire now from the US. Um, very uh, well, interesting and important package for myself. Um, one of the um, very first computers I owned, and the one that I programmed the most for back in the day was the original Spectre Video 3 and 8, and that's the first model I had, and then later on a 3 to 8, which then led me onto the MSX machines after that. Now, I did have a TI 99 4, not a 4A before that, um, but the 318 is the machine that basically, you know, defines me as a person and programmer. Um, and I actually do not have most of the tape games that came out of the system. Um, and they're not exactly a common machine, and the titles don't put, um, come up very often. Ah, tongue tied today. Very often. Um, and I spied this lot in the US. It's the second time it's been listed. Um, and they wouldn't ship international the first time, but I convinced this person that if I bid on it, would he ship it internationally? And he agreed. So there are going to be titles in here that I do have, but there are actually going to be quite a few that I don't have. Now, I'm not going to do gameplays on all of them in this video, because I am doing a series on gameplay videos, but we'll do a selection. So, first one out, and there's going to be, not all of these are games, um, but this is, I mean, I am most interested to see you know, um, how far I can get my selection of titles. So the first one, and I don't have this one, is Financial Calculator. So there was a whole lot of productivity software for the Spectre Video as well. And this is the style of the Spectre Video titles. I'm sure these are going to be a variety in Spectre. The next one, I believe I may have this one, is Spectra Checkbook. And then we have Number Game. So there's a mixture of home productivity, educational, and of course, games. Now this one I have never played or seen before. It's an educational one, but it's called Swing Man. I don't even think I've seen that cover before. That's really cool. We have Spectra Type. And this is one I've done a video of recently. It's actually a really cool game, and I don't have my own copy of it. Old Mac Farmer. Um, another one I definitely do not have a copy of is Mini Golf. I actually quite like golf games. And then we have. I have seen this one before in my life, but um, never had my own physical copy. Spectra Font Editor. Do you remember that one being on one of the ones we had on the shelf back in the day? Uh, Spectra Diary. So I really don't think we've got a lot of duplicates so far of what I have. Uh, Spectra Home Economist. Ah, now. I have a copy of this, as it came with every um, uh, 3 and 8 and 3 to 8, is Spectron. Great game. Now, cool, another one that I've never seen the cover before is Maze Champion. Entertainment program, interesting. Another one I haven't seen the cover before is SV Jungle. Um, I have a large box version of this one. This is the loose version of it. I think it came on a... So the Spectre Video Controls actually came on a cardboard card as well. Gnomus. But you never get them still in the cardboard card. Uh, Biorhythm. So a lot of these, um, this is the first time I'm seeing these covers. Ah, cool. Well, I don't have my own copy of this. Kung Fu Master. Uh, 
Ah, I remember this one from back in the day. Spectra Sprite Editor. My Sprite Editor was better. Uh, the other title that came with the system, Armored Assault, which is a really, really cool two-player team game. I do have a copy of this one. Spectra File Cabinet. Oh, it's pretty common. Uh, I think I might have a copy of that one. AccuType. I don't know if I have a copy of this one. Address book. So as you can see, a lot of productivity software. Ah, oh, cool. And a real copy of Ninja. Which is quite an interesting game. Um, and we have some manuals. So we have Graph Master. Killer Car. And these are definitely 318, 328 versions because they've got the um, picture of the computer on the back. Uh, memory trainer. This is when they switched over to little cardboard boxes and this inserted in the front. Uh, music composer. Master brain, which is like mastermind. Uh, spectra brain. Number quiz. Puzzle Master, Morse Code Tutor, and Spectra Mind. I do have a copy of this one. This is three dimensional tic tac toe. Definitely don't have this one, it probably was never released over here. US Presidents. Cool, Spectra Break. Breakout type game. Uh, Juno Lander. I don't think my copy of that works. I haven't seen this one before. Star Wars. I said lots of educational software. Uh, I haven't seen that one before ever. Compatibility. Find it. Word find again. So there really is a lot of stuff in here. Uh, US ge geography, US capitals. Right, now, another title that there's heaps of copies around, and I've got a few. Introduction to Basic. Okay, now I think I have the titles that match those manuals. So we have Music Composer, Memory Trainer. Graph Master, I have a copy of that one already. Spectra Mind, these are matching those manuals. Master Brain, Spectra Brain, let's be careful my stack's getting a bit high now. Uh, Killer Car, which I think is similar to the Atari 2600 game uh, Dodger. Morse Code Tutor. And last but not least is Puzzle Master. So there is a tremendous lot of titles there, um, and I, you know I'm seeing some of those covers for the very first time. Um, I do plan on doing a gameplay of every single split video game, including the educational ones, and of course my own titles that I publish for the system. I've been working my way through. Uh, this will now give me more covers to scan in because we don't have the covers between myself and the other online people of all of these things so I'll be scanning as many of those in as possible. I will do a couple of um, uh, select game players to add on to this after this, just a couple, just to pad it out a little bit. But um, I'm very pleased at finally getting copies of those games um, that I've never owned copies of because I didn't have a lot of money back in the day and couldn't buy them. I played some of them because I worked in a shop that sold the Spirit videos. Uh, but didn't actually end up buying many of them for myself. Uh, I might have <coughs> copied some of them, um, but uh, most of the time, mostly I wrote my own games, which is you know what, what uh, led me to create the number of software titles that I did. But it's really nice, you know, fleshing out the original Spectre Video collection there a bit, 
and finding some um, titles that have uh, never been seen before in physical form. Alright, so let's go do a couple of gameplays. Right, so let's see how we are. I'm just going to do a couple of these titles. Here's Swingman. Using the um, draw commands. It's actually quite clever so far. A little bit of colour clash there. Sprites. So this is an education, educational program. So much time drawing the. You can hear the click of the. Oh dear. Maybe we've exited and filled up the key buffer. Is basic listing. Let's. Oops. Sorry, some of my keys are a little. Mm. Let's just try it again. Otherwise, graphically quite impressive for a basic game. All the thoughts been gone into that, and obviously they spend a bit of time on the sprites. Oh dear, I can't get past the first turtle. Unless I've got to hold the shift key down. Ah, I told the shift key down, that's a bit silly, isn't it? Guess that the, the think are in the word, lose turns, so it's like hangman, used already. Get points if you finish. Okay, so we need to turn our caps lock on, I reckon. Good luck and have fun. Okay, so it's like hangman. To okay, let's try A. Um, oh, we got an A, yep. Try an E. No. T. Uh, S. Word guesser here. No turns left. Ah. Well, the, you know, for a basic game, this is actually not too bad. So it's crash. Oh, I didn't think of it. 
Okay, next word. We'll go for E as a no. How about O? N M S T um, hmm. do, Did I do an A before? I think I did Showing my limits here. Uh oh, down to the line. struggling aren't I and I'm dead again yes yeah, so the three letters missing are the three lines that are not down to allow the person going across Mexico it's the name of a place that's not exactly fair anyway as you can see that's not a bad little educational title so let's try another one we'll, we'll try a couple of the productivity ones because if I did a video of those just by themselves, they'd probably be very boring. So, back in a sec. Right, so let's have a quick look at the financial calculator. And I mean, I know it's a, um, you know, it's, it's a productivity sort of thing, but this is what computers were all about in the early 80s. It wasn't just about games. It was um, computers being used for useful things in the home. So here we have, and these calculations sort of things were hard to do back in the day. This is before spreadsheets and everything like that. So you've got simple interest, compound interest, saving for the future, loan and mortgage payments, value of future payments, depreciation. So let's do loan payments. I should have actually read the instructions. So... 20, zero months, interest rate. Um, well, at the moment, interest rates are virtually nothing. So let's just go three, loan amount, but you probably, that's what you have to borrow to get a house nowadays. Why not? Into month of first payment. So now it's calculating, and obviously this is something that would pop up. There we go. So it wasn't actually calculating, it was just waiting for me to press enter. So you can see the interest that's paid, and you can see the average monthly payment. Which is, you know, something that back in the day would not be easy for the home person at home to, um, to, to calculate themselves. We press any key and we get an interest and period breakdown. Which is pretty cool. You know, this is a computer doing useful things. Simple interest. We'll just do one more. So 2.5. 
two years, zero months. Just write three. Take the bought car or something. There you go. Simple interest calculator. So you know how much you're up the up for. Obviously, I'm putting very low interest rates. And uh, that's actually quite a useful program. That would have been very useful to somebody back in the day. Um, and a lot of these ones they re released for the MSX 728, and they actually gave away 10 titles with the 728s, and they're a bit random as they come in. And I'm sure this one was ported and was available as well, and would have been very useful for somebody at home trying to work out their um, various repayments and things. All right, we'll try one more quick one. All right, last one we're going to have a quick look at is Spectre Checkbook, not expecting anything too amazing. But once again, these productivity things were not too bad. So the whole idea is this is for um, keeping track of your checks, I take it. Insert data cassette, position cassette to desired data file and press enter. Right, yeah, so you can, you can save data to um, a cassette data file. So you'd need to put a data one in. I'm not going to do that at the moment because obviously it's an original uh, one. Um, and then you would record your check payments because that's how everybody used to work there was no internet banking back in the day and you had to keep track of what your current check balance was after you entered each check and which checks have been cashed and all those sort of things so it was actually a fair bit of manual paperwork so something like this um, would have saved a lot of time back in the day once again I'm not going to go into it too much because it's probably not something that you guys out there are interested in but this Bundle Pickup has quite literally tripled the number of Spectre Video original titles that I have. It's filled a large hole. Um, I've sorted them out and there are actually only... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... There are only 12 duplicates in that entire lot. Um, so it's probably more than tripled the number of original Spectre Video titles that I had. Um, I have done gameplays of some of the ones we received now, but it's just great that I've actually now got a physical uh, copy. I'll take pictures of all of the manual covers properly. These are just quickly taken with my phone for this one. And I'll upload them to the Spectre Video Facebook group when I get a chance, the ones that are missing. Um, so very good pickup to um, start the new year with. Um, uh, the pickup did arrive just before Christmas. I've only just now been able to uh, record the gameplays. Um, but um, yeah, very happy to improve my Spectre, original Spectre Video Collection since the machine means so much to me. Alright, I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.